Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be having our very first look at the brand new Legend difficulty Final Boss King. So in comparison to his previous version, Phase 1, he's got 455k hit points, and also Phase 2, he's got 630,000. So Phase 2 is really, really tanky. And also one thing I may be a little bit worried about um, is he also looks to steal alt gauge as well, and I don't remember the original version doing that. So that could be like a massive, massive problem. Uh, but yeah, let's jump in and test out today. I thought we'd originally start off with uh, Green Escanor, uh, also Halloween Gotha and Healing Liz as well. Just to kind of test out this fight and see what the damage is like. Because I think I'm probably going to need to bring in a lane. And he got super lucky, dude. Straight into a freaking ult there. Uh, so yeah, two gold cards. Dude, this turn is really going to hurt. Um, I think we're, we're probably better off like going for a merger here and then chucking this off and then I think I'm just gonna dump pumpkin bombs as well for now but yeah this is literally like the luckiest start uh, King can have and uh, I'm back on JP KR like wouldn't load up this morning man it's been incredibly weird so yeah I thought we'd do a little bit of testing for this on JP but my JP is definitely a little bit less stacked in comparison to KR uh, but that is a fair amount of damage, nothing too bad. Again, King hits harder the more this phase goes on, because he keeps on getting these attack buffs, man. Uh, so yeah, this this could be a little bit of a problem here. I think we... Do you want to go for upgrade Eskinol just yet? I think it's probably the right time to. So yeah, let's upgrade Eskinol, and then let's uh, slam in here. We'll see what we draw into as well. Okay, nice. So everybody's topped up. We do have Jillian on the sub for a bit more survivability as well. But this man, I don't know if this is a feature of Legend that they just non-stop top deck gold cards. Or if we're just getting like super unlucky here, man. Uh, but yeah, let's test out this damage phase one. Usually phase one you can survive. It's phase two that's a bit more of a problem. Okay, that's also... Uh, oh... We're still alive, man. We're still alive. We definitely took a bit of a beat in there, though. But let's go for... Um... Hmm. Actually, I think we go for this play. And I'm also just going to use this additional Liz card as well. Because um... if I, I rush a bit too quickly into the final phase, I think I'm in a bit of trouble. But next turn, then we can get fully topped up via Liz's ultimate. Um, and then fire off Eskinol's ult. Should be able to push phase, and then we'll be in a really strong position. And also have, um, uh, what is it, go to Zolfi for the drain. So yeah, should work out quite nicely here, I think. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, King is, uh, King's hurt a little bit here, man. Right, let's go for the, uh, the ult. Dude, this guy is, like, the luckiest King as well. Mm, I think we just, like, slam him with Eskinor. Actually, no, sorry, we need to use Eskinol's ulti first, then the slam in, then the Liz heal. Because, yeah, then that puts us at three ult gauge on um, Eskinol. And that's uh, definitely what we're after there. Well, let's disable ult moves. Should get everybody fully topped up. Fantastic. I I'm curious to see like whether or not Assault Melee teams are actually going to work for this um, final boss as well. Actually, I think King deals like additional damage to demons, I think. Um, actually, he may be, like, so old that he doesn't. No, actually, I don't think he's got any node that deals additional damage to demons. But look at this, man. I'm in the final phase. Three gold cards? Is this... Is this a feature, bro? <laughs> or am I just, like, super unlucky? Um, yeah, I, I do not know. Um, I think if I put on pumpkin bombs, I think he just removes them. Yeah, so... Right, let's go for let's go for this and this. I think this is really our best play, man. It's just to send it on Escanor. Because then we get <laughs> Get Escanor's ulti. Because final phase, you just like you can't survive the ult. It's like way too much damage, dude. And it's uh he's essentially like Green King in the final phase, so it crits as well. Oh no, the fact that he's going for Escanor is really bad news, because that just means that, um, 
Oh my god, dude. Okay, well that's uh, <laughs> it's my <laughs> my first experience. Did he just get lucky there, bro? Everything's gold. That's ridiculous. Um, okay, right. We are we are changing the plan, man. I got some ideas. Uh, let's make a few adjustments. All right. So I've had to whip out the secret final boss king weapon. We've got a lane here. So we've got the uh, the rank downs. We've got the drain, man. We should be all right. He didn't get super super lucky. <laughs> This run so yeah maybe i just got like incredibly unfortunate the first time uh but i think we'll start off by dumping this dumping this um and then i think for now we're just gonna get rid of this because we got we got enough alt drain here so let's get get a little bit of damage going but uh I'm, yeah i'm curious to see if like a and melee teams can work for this because uh, i'm just trying to think like what a and melee structure i go for Probably like, probably want like green derriere for the alt drain, dude, I imagine. And then red liz in the back. I, I got, I got some ideas. Got some ideas for a melee team that might work out. Okay, let's go for the, the drain here. And then we kind of need to rush the ulti on liz. So I think we also go for this as well. bringing me back man this is like <laughs> what original final boss when final boss king like uh reran on global man he was such a joke in comparison but this one definitely um looks to be a bit more challenging right so we are gonna have to tank the ultimate here so let's go for this uh then we'll remove the buff and then i think we just slam him with escanor as well for now um yeah, I think we just go for that. We'll see if we can also get the, um, like, additional Cruel Sun card, because then we can use it to uh, remove uh, the attack buffs from King. Because, again, if those get too high, that's where you start to have real problems in this fight. Oh, actually, I guess as well, with, like, a lane Zolt, that also removes buffs. Yeah, she's just, like, built for this fight, man. But also, like, we don't really want to push um, too quickly into the final phase of our plan, I think. So, yeah, I'm a bit hesitant to, like, uh, what is it? Go a bit too ham on the cards here? So, I think I'm actually just going to rush uh, Liz's ult for now. Because, ideally, I think I want to, like, Escanor roll and then, um, like... Escanor all, Liz heal, get Escanor up a little bit. I guess, like, even if I have, um, like, three old gauge on Escanor, he can still get, uh, drained. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's not so good. Uh, we should be able to survive this, though. Okay, we got no, no drain. So, yeah, we're gonna have to push phase here. So, let's go, f let's go for it, man. Let's, uh, sorry, Escanor all, and then Liz heal, and then slam, and we should be good. Okay, nice. And that gives um, Escanor a uh, 3 old gauge. But we also need to draw uh, some freaking Elaine cards here, man. Okay, what's King got first turn? Okay, nice. So actually, yeah, I did, I did get like super, <laughs> super unlucky. I thought this was maybe a feature of Legend difficulty, man. It's just like the worst possible RNG every time. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, I guess, good to know. Um... Right, there's no buffs on this phase, so I think we actually just go for uh, this play for now. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how this works out. It's not bad as well, because it kind of slows down King's damage output a bit. Again, like, ranking down his cards by using this card, really, really good. You can hit him a bit harder, generally speaking. Uh, okay, that's, that's really good, dude. That is really, really good. Okay, we got some nice control. The, the only thing I'm worried about here is we don't really have um, uh, any heals. But as long as we can keep stuff under control, we're in a pretty good spot. Okay, so this man is just... He's just like going for Escanor. Hmm, I think we go for this. And then... Let's go for this. Cruel Sun. And then we'll uh, drain for now. All ranked down. I think I think we rank down here, man. We might as well be uh, a little bit safe again. There's a pretty good chance we're going to draw another one of those cards there. 
So ranking down here, then it means we only take two bronze cards after. I think this should drain here. Okay, nice. So we didn't take the ult next turn. We still got like another drain in hand as well. Um, but then we don't have anything after that. So we need to hope that we can draw another Elaine card next turn. We are in desperate need of that. So let's go for this and then fire off uh, the Liz heal. We should go for the Liz heal or should we go for double Eskinor cards? Eskinor's got a little bit of life still, man. Um, I think this is probably our most promising play right here. Okay, we need to draw another... Another lane card, bro. Another lane card. Evil one, bro. Evil one. Oh, gosh. We got no lane cards. Oh, God. Yeah, I need to kill this turn. Um, chances of that happening are not very high. <laughs> I think. Uh, well, we'll see. I mean, if it was normal, we'd be fine. But Legend... I think that's about 200,000 health. I haven't seen a 200,000 Elaine ult. Oh, maybe today's the day. Not today. Unfortunate, boys. Unfortunate. Right, I think we're about to get... Um, yeah, we're just testing the ult damage there. Okay, there, there is a potential way to survive it. I think we're dead after, though. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Please stay alive, Elaine. Damn it. Yeah, I, th I think at this point, man, it's pr pretty much a lost cause on this run <laughs> but yeah you can see with like a, a bit of uh, better rng and also um just like saving up the elaine cards for the final phase like it's possible to do it with that team and set up uh but let's try something a little bit different and go for an assault melee team all right so we switched to the am melee team i've had a couple of failed tries so we've gone for am melee green derriere esterosa we've got red healing liz on the sub as well this man's got double gold card first turn dude we are in massive trouble here um, but let's just, uh, let's see what we can do. Esther's all pretty good for this fight as well. Because you can just, like, completely absorb a turn. So hopefully we can get, like, another Estherosa damage card. Okay, that's pretty good. And we've also got a, uh, a nice merger on A and Melee. I think we actually just use double Esther cards next turn. Because then what I can do is I can double Esther, Derriere Drain... And then it's it's pretty good for the draw, but look at this damage, bro. Without Jillian on the sub, man. <laughs> but he's just getting bad, man. Um Right, let's let's go for this, see how this works out. And then we've got Esther Zolti next turn. So we want to ideally either get like AM Melly Zolt or Derriere Zolt here. Um Okay, nice. We can get Derriere Zolt as well. Okay, that should that should work out really nicely here. Oh my god, dude. Derriere is getting murked. And again, with Red Liz on the back, it's like an additional free turn of, um, uh, what is it, Liz heal on here as well. Let's just uh, chuck off this. Right, come on. And one of the things is uh, the more ult gauge the, like, side dog demons go up, uh, the more defense I think he gets. So yeah, he becomes like mega tanky toward the end of phase one. But yeah, let's slap this man up. Um, and Derriere Zol isn't, <laughs> it doesn't hit as hard as the uh, what is it? Red version. So it's probably not going to one shot here. I think just for a bit of safety, we'd probably go for this play. Don't really have, like, much additional damage to uh, amplify AM Melly's damage here. Okay, we're in a pretty good spot now. Might be enough, actually. Nah, not quite, unfortunately. Um, and then I think if next turn we double Esther card and another AM Melly cleave, we should be good. Oh, my goodness. Right, so we go for one Esther... Two Esther. A Melly Cleave. Come on, let's go. Nice, dude. Nice. That was just about enough. And then we've got one of those uh those big boys moving into the final phase. And the good thing in the final phase, as long as we get some decent luck with the drains, is I think we can put like a Esther Torn in the way of um 
Rushing air melee's all at some point. But uh, yeah, I think let's go for this card and then we'll derriere shock here. Do you just want to dump that? Mm. I think I'm actually just going to dump this card for now. Because, like, getting Derriere's ult is, is not bad for damage. And merging those cards uh, can be very convenient. We didn't have, like, a good merger with that Aemeli Cleave. Okay, so he's going to steal the ult gauge off um, Esther here. So, yeah, he's definitely going to get ult. So, we actually need to start draining next turn. Um... And the chance of getting Esther's all uh, <laughs> here is incredibly unlikely. Hmm. It's like, what play exactly do we want to go for? The thing is, um, I don't know who he's going to target, right? Th this is like the thing that makes it a bit, a bit dodgy here. It's like... I think the best play is maybe to go for Aemeli's ult. But also, like, if the if he then double targets Aemeli and just steals all the ult gauge, then that's not the best play. But Aemeli also has the most health, so I don't think he's going to go for him unless uh, he's prioritizing the ult drain. Depends how smart the AI is. Okay, stick to Derriere, please. Okay, nice, dude. That's really good news. Um, I think we might just be able to do it here. Again, this is JP. So I think my AM melee is not... He's definitely not 6-6, six, six, I believe. <laughs> 3 eight, 5 I'm not too sure what multiplier level that's at. Come on, we got like two of these, two of these bad boys on. Let's, let's do it. Easy, man. Easy. Uh, so yeah, that, that wasn't too bad. If you get the right lineup with, um... Uh, AM Melee again, he can work out for the Legend difficulty there. Uh, but yeah, overall, that's uh, <laughs> uh, it's a little bit interesting. One of the, the weird things as well is that, again, this uh, this boss actually runs for less than a week. So it's like six days on the, um, uh, the Japanese and KR version. So I'm not too sure when they're planning to like bring them back. Uh, there's also, like, a fair amount of tokens, man. The tokens are really, really good. However, there's no, like, uh, scoring or leaderboard. You've just got missions to do, and doing those missions gives you gems. Um, and I think there's only five gems available. So in comparison to the usual final boss, you know, which has the leaderboard, and I think, like, a total of, uh, I think it's, like, 38 gems usually. Um... I think there's usually like, uh, what was it, 35 from the, the ranked rewards and like three from milestones. Again, five gems is like very underwhelming. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm not really too sure about that, dude. Uh, and especially considering like the final boss is is like so much more difficult, I would say, in comparison to the regular version. Uh, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me know your thoughts on the, uh, the new final boss legend difficulty in the comment section below. I think it's a... Um, uh, fun and interesting challenge, uh, but the rewards for it, again, uh, just kind of seem to suck a little bit, you know? There's there's not really the gems that you want from Final Boss. Uh, I guess you got the store. The store's like the same as it, as it always is, and the, the token gain's pretty good. Uh, but again, it's really just the gems that uh, don't really seem to be there with the new Final Boss selection difficulty. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy today's video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciate it. Uh, but aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day you are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending who decided that subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret